My name is Bernd Lange. I'm a German member of the European Parliament and I'm the chair of the International Trade Committee. And of course, the International Trade Committee has a vital role in the negotiation process of trade agreement. We are monitoring the uh, trade negotiations. We were involved in creating a mandate for trade negotiations. And of course, at the end of the day, the European Parliament has to say yes or no to a trade agreement. The Commission is negotiating uh, trade agreements, but uh, they should be based on the uh, democratic view of the European Parliament and of the Council as the co-legislators for uh, legislation and trade agreement as well. We are really deeply involved in the trade uh, negotiation process and we got all relevant uh, information. We have so many different negotiations and remember the last legislative term we agreed to 61 uh, trade agreement and 55 uh, pieces of legislation related to trade agreement and therefore it's not possible to follow everything on detail in the whole committee so the, we created uh, monitoring groups to the specific uh, trade negotiation and some horizontal um, trade uh, uh, agreements. So for example I'm the standing rapporteur for the TTIP negotiation and I'm chairing the monitoring group for the EU-US uh, uh, trade negotiation. We have access to the protocol of the um, negotiation, so we are really aware about uh, the things which are going on. We have a clear mandate for the Parliament. We adopted uh, a resolution for each of the trade negotiations, and this is our guidance for the uh, negotiation process and sometimes it's necessary to have a dialogue with the Commission to make clear these are our important points for the negotiation. For example, in the TTIP uh, negotiations we made a specific uh, monitoring group on the sustainability chapter on labor rights and um, environmental rights to dis discuss uh, with the Commission our uh, priorities. The process of uh, trade negotiation has really changed. So the Parliament is deeply involved and the Council is also deeply involved. And there is a democratic control of the process and that's important. Before 2009, I'm not sure that parliamentarians from the member states are really involved and this was a really democratic process. But now it is and we are really serious inside the European Parliament and uh, not shy to reject a uh, uh, bad uh, agreement. So we are really uh, keen to use our democratic power to judge about uh, trade agreements. Transparency is absolutely necessary. And this was a big mistake, especially in the start of the TTIP negotiation. I remember very well 2009, the change in the balance of power the old commission was not really keen to accept the new role that uh, they have to provide us with all uh, information, to provide us with the documents and to inform us uh, on the um, ongoing process. But that's that changed, especially with the new uh, commission and now I think uh, uh, the, the points are fixed.